Guys, we did it. We made it to 2021. Yes! Finally! Look at us. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. Yeah, feels good to be in the new year. I think we can all agree that 2020 was not good. But that's all in the past now, thankfully. If we somehow manage to get back to this little thing called normal life, then 2021 is just gonna hit differently, you know what I mean? My year is different to your day. So when it comes to the New Year's, everyone does this thing called New Year's resolutions. You basically make a list of all the things you want to achieve in the next year. See, it's all about change. What can you change about yourself to make yourself better for the next year? Usually people are like, okay, this is the year I'm for sure going to exercise more. But then like a month later, they just give up. So when it comes to the Bible on this topic, there are a lot of people who changed for the better. Like Moses. Not only was Moses said to be a terrible speaker, but he was also a murderer. Nevertheless, God still used him to lead the people of Israel. Before Jesus' disciples became disciples, they were literally just fishermen. And then there was the prosecutor Saul, who became the apostle Paul after being blinded by the light of God. My eyes! But today I'm going to be focusing on Zacchaeus, or is it Zacchaeus? Zacchaeus? All right, hold on. Zacchaeus or Zacchaeus. Okay, we'll go with Zacchaeus. So Jesus was walking through Jericho and there was a man called Zacchaeus. He was a rich tax collector. Nobody liked him though because he always cheated people to get more money. <laughs> a rich hey. But when Jesus came to his town, Zacchaeus really wanted to see him. The problem was was that he was really small so he couldn't see behind the large crowds. So he actually climbed up a sycamore tree so we can actually get a good view of Jesus. Work smarter, not harder. But the plan didn't last long anyway, because as soon as Jesus came round to his spot, he pretty much immediately caught him hiding in the tree. Hurry ah! down, Zacchaeus. But I must stay in your house today. My house? Huh? Yep, Jesus didn't scold him or anything. Even though Zacchaeus was essentially a thief, Jesus still wanted to eat with him. I give half of my belongings to the poor. And if I have cheated anyone, I will pay him back four times as much. Ah! <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't believe it. A tax collector paying back his taxes. Impossible. So yeah, as you can see, because Jesus visited him out of kindness, Zacchaeus did change for the better, and he gave all his riches he falsely took back to the poor. Salvation has come to this house today, for this man also is a descendant of Abraham. The son of man came to seek and to save the lost. Well done, Zacchaeus. So yeah, guys, if you currently have something holding you back, from being the best person you can possibly be, whether it's a sin or even just a bad habit. Come on, let's really try and get rid of it this year, guys. And if you struggle, just pray about it because God will help you. Anyway, that's it from me. I hope you guys have a happy new year and God bless.